Hiya, it's Anya Divine again. Um, have a look at the links below if you want to know more about me. This is part two of um, the flamenco dance I was doing from a sketch I made yesterday at Dance Base in Edinburgh. I just wanted to do a few more little things. Um, and uh, yeah, so one of the things I want to do first is to just um, place that hand on her hip that I got spectacularly off in the earlier attempt at getting it. Oh, fuck it. Sorry. I've just painted on a piece of collage I meant to use. Okay, so I'm going to test it here. Okay. So this is the red orange from Jackson's. And I'm going to sit it. Um, I think the hand needs to be about there. It's a bit orange, but I think if I bring that same warmth into the skin elsewhere it'll be fine i kind of like that it's a bit orangey so let's bring a bit more orange into the other hand and hopefully that'll be enough maybe a touch there and there was a foot there that can be orange as well okay all right um i didn't really want that drip to run there for the foot because i thought it would be um good to a shadow underneath it so I'll just let it alone for a while. Now the couple of things I wanted to do was to put a bit of collage on here. I found something that I thought would be quite nice for the skirt. There. And um, I don't know, just to somehow add a bit of substance. And I'm using PVA glue. Yeah, maybe that could kick out there then. I don't know if you feel like that's complete overkill, but I guess why not? I enjoy the little bit of collage. And I think she can take it, you know, she's quite a powerful statuesque figure there. So I'm just going to go with this instinct I've got to stick flowers on her skirt. <laughs> I think once they're completely flush with the page, That'll, it'll work, I reckon. I'm not so keen on that piece. Um, not sure about that bit either, actually. Is better, yeah, and then this can kind of soften that hard edge. There, maybe, and yeah, go on then, go for it. <laughs> All right, and then, um. It seems like a good idea to put a touch in the fan as well, just to create a little bit more. I didn't feel like I got an awful lot. Yeah, I thought it needed something more. Okay. And now I'm going to put some opera rose right over that. Yeah. Just to kind of integrate it a little bit more again. That's all right, isn't it? I think it's okay. There'll be people who love and hate this now, but sure. All part of the fun. Okay, what else was I going to do? Hmm, maybe that was it. Oh yeah, I had kind of considered putting that somewhere. I don't know why, but I just thought that seems to kind of work. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I've been looking for a painting I did of Kamachi in her kimono. I can't find it. And it's like massive. I had it yesterday. It's a really big painting. I have no idea where it is. It's either in the living room or the kitchen. Like, it can't be further afield, really. It's not in the car. I want to find it because I want to take off the paint marks in the corner of it before getting it photographed for an exhibition. 
and some extra and I hadn't used a scrap piece of paper. It was for a demonstration I gave. And I kind of liked the outcome of that. Okay. What do you think of that? I kind of thought that would be a good idea. It seems a bit slapdash, but yeah, I'm happy enough with that. That might come off again after, we'll see. Um, hmm. I suppose I could put on some of that indigo colour onto it, maybe. So that it's amalgamating a little bit more with the current background. Right, I think I'm going to call it a day for that one. We're heading to Ireland on Friday and I do need to write um, an article before I go about this kind of thing, taking pictures from sketches like that one and bringing them into paintings like this one. So I could maybe use this for the article. Okay. Good talking to you. See you maybe tomorrow. I don't know. All the best. Bye.